Hi, I'm John Hamilton, an associate broker with Windermere Real Estate here in Utah. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, an option uh, of cutting your own Christmas tree. Uh, when I first came to Salt Lake uh, many years ago, uh, my first business enterprise was actually a Christmas tree business. I needed something uh, to work well with my uh, uh, skiing every day. And a friend of mine from Montana uh, was in the trucking business and he had a whole load of uh, Christmas trees that he hauled down from Montana. So another friend and myself, we decided to uh, have a Christmas tree lot on uh, Main Street. And uh, at that time we were charging $2 a foot for a Christmas tree. Picking out the Christmas tree uh, in a lot is a favorite tradition for most families here. Uh, but if you're looking for something a little more adventurous, uh, there's also an option where you can go out and get your own Christmas tree out in the wilds. Utah National Forests are now selling permits uh, for $10 at most Utah Bureau of Land Management offices and for $5 in St. George. Uh, you can buy your permit uh, at their office during their normal business hours. Uh, a link uh, to the locations is in the the description below. Uh, be sure to pick up uh, a map and directions when purchasing your permit. Permits are limited at each location, so be sure to purchase yours early. It's recommended that when you go out in the wilds for your tree, that you're driving uh, a high clearance vehicle. Uh, and also a, a good idea to check your vehicle and make sure that uh, it's in good running condition before you leave. Uh, dress uh, appropriate for the weather. Uh, for example, you want to have uh, uh, maybe a hat, a warm jacket, gloves, and sturdy shoes when you're out in the wilds. Food and water and hot drinks can also be a real plus when you're out there. Some gear that would be helpful for cutting your tree includes, for safety, eye protection, and uh, a shovel in case your car gets stuck, uh, or to shovel snow from around the base of the tree, uh, also, uh, a tarp can be very handy uh, to help you drag your tree to your car. And also like a, a saw or pruners to trim the branches on the tree. And of course, a handsaw to cut the base of the tree. And uh, of course, when you're uh, putting your tree on the car, you want to have a rope, some kind of tie down straps to secure the tree to the top of your car or uh, to the back of your truck uh, to ensure it's not gonna go flying off. And don't forget to bring your Christmas tree tag to attach to the tree once you've cut it down. It can be an adventurous outing for the entire family. Uh, have fun and make some memories.